previously on the Red Hood universe. You've taken everything from me, and now <laughs> I'm gonna take yours. So, for old time's sake, huh? Yeah, for old time's sake. <laughs> I want your mind tech. I need your tech, and I'm willing to pay for it. That's going that far out of the city limits. In Zionist Park. Black Mask reigns ends today. You're nothing like that, man. You don't have the skills, and you're not- uh, that's much better. Now that you really have to kill him, Luther sent me to keep an eye on him, and I thought, well, he is kind of a dick, so I'll let this Batman ripoff get some hits in. But I didn't think you'd kill him. The boss isn't going to like that, so now I need to take you to him. Who the hell are you? I was about to ask you the same thing. Mr. Luther, Black Mask is dead. The target's gone. Yes, sir. I'll be on my way, sir. Black Mask and Lex Luthor have been working together. But on what? Oh my god. They're controlling every member of the Young Justice. Starting with Starfire. This is bigger than I thought. I'm going to need the help that I can get. And I know just who to ask. Hey guys, welcome back to another Livewire podcast. Last week, we talked about the ongoing actions of former Young Justice member and protege to the Green Arrow, Red Arrow, now going by the name Arsenal. Now guys, I'd be lying if I didn't say that I recognize the fact that Arsenal and his fellow vigilante Red Hood have done so much to eliminate the crime in their cities. But they aren't heroes, and they don't inspire. They kill and they terrorize, leaving little to nothing to separate themselves from the criminals that they attack. Batman and Green Arrow, who are both considered vigilantes, never killed. That's why they're still considered to be heroes, because they never lowered themselves down to the same level as the criminals that they fought. Now I'm not saying that we don't need vigilantes, because sometimes the law just isn't enough. Heck, even I know that. But vigilantes have to be the heroes. They have to inspire those around them and hold themselves not only to a higher standard of law, but also to those that they're supposed to protect. Killers like Arsenal and Red Hood can't be the heroes that we need and are definitely not the heroes that we deserve. We need a new hero. One that can protect and inspire the people. Cities like Gotham, Star City, and Detroit need a new breed of hero. Oh, sorry guys. I guess that's all the time we have left for today's Livewire podcast. Well, until next time, this is Leslie Williams, and I hope I shocked some sense in you, Detroit. <laughs> Bye. I mean, dude, come on. I just don't get how she can say that Green Arrow and Batman are okay, but then Red Hood and Arsenal aren't. I mean, it's not like Green Arrow and um, Batman aren't hurting people, too. Well, to be fair, Red Hood has killed people. Like, full through the head, killed people. Green Arrow hasn't since he's been public as a hero, but to be fair, Batman hasn't either. Yeah, but sometimes the law isn't always right, and you have to take justice into your own hands. Like, sometimes you just gotta be your own hero. And besides, there's a theory- oh. Talking about that red mask dork again? 
If I didn't know you were homo, I'd accuse you of being gay for the guy. Oh no, are you upset because I said your boyfriend's name wrong? Are you gonna go home and cry in your red fedora posters? Alright Chuck, time to back off. Just leave him alone, okay? Oh, I'd love to beat the crap out of you two walking hate crimes, but unlike you two, I got better things to do tonight than beat up a queer and a black kid. Some of us are actually meant to do something. I can't believe he gets to do what he wants. Like, who is this guy? He isn't better than me, and he isn't better than you. What? About me being gay? I don't care, he can call me whatever he wants. But he is right about one thing. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> Take a look at this tweet Chuck just sent. Hmm? Get ready for a new Superman. About to get me some of that smoke tonight so Chuck smokes I mean I know it's illegal but just about everyone does it so what's the big deal but that's the thing I don't think he's talking about any regular drug I think he's talking about venom there's been conversation all over the internet that there's a big venom sale downtown Detroit right now but there's so much fake news now that the cops don't know where the location actually is so Chuck is going downtown to go to this drug deal gonna shoot up some venom get all bane on us turn into Superman and the cops don't even know about this? Yeah, exactly. That seems to be what it looks like. Why? What were you thinking? I'm thinking I can follow Chuck to this whole drug deal. I know where he lives. I can get video evidence of him and get him arrested so that we'll never have to deal with him again. Plus, we can help the police out. Well, why don't you just call the cops? And tell them what? Yeah, I read a tweet online about some guy gonna be at a massive drug deal. He bulls me at school. Think that makes sense? So what? You're gonna be the one to do it? Well, it's like you said, Rick. Sometimes you do have to take justice into your own hands. Everybody here? Okay, good. So here's the deal. You're all here because you have money and I have the goods you want. I have 40 vials of venom straight from Santa Prisca, which will be sold tonight. If you don't get it, well, don't worry. We are very committed to the city of Detroit, so we will return very soon. Lastly, before the bidding begins, there are a few rules you should know about venom use. After all, a dead customer is not a very good customer. One vial of venom will enhance your strength for over 24 hours. You can carry cars, break walls, even take on Superman for a while if you're dumb enough to do that. However, two vials of venom will kill an elephant, so use your dosing wisely. Now with that out of the way, let the bidding begin. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing here, kid? Don't you know Detroit's a dangerous place at night? You weren't doing anything illegal, were you? No, uh, I was just about to call the police. There's a drug deal going on right here. Here, look, see? Look. Thank you for your cooperation, kid. Certainly wouldn't want to risk this getting out there. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, what? <gasps> oh. That's enough venom to kill Superman. In about five minutes, you'll be dead. Once the cops discover you tomorrow, it'll just be another tragic death in the drug crisis. Sweet dreams, kid. Uh, help. 
me. Uh, uh. Oh my god! Verge! Verge! Verge, buddy, come on. Oh my god, you're awake. You're lucky it's just your shoulder, Verge. By the time I tracked you down, you were in an alley and it was 2 a.m. What happened after you left? Uh, it's all kind of blurry. I just remember following Chuck into the alley, and there was that guy selling the drugs, and I remember pulling out my phone and recording. Wait, that's it, my phone. Oh, the hell? What the hell, bro? Did you just fry your phone? Dude, seriously, what happened last night? Because that's not normal. You know what? You know what? Never mind. Let's just get back to the house. Selling this venom, and I think it's the stuff that Bane used. Uh, I try to record them, and as soon as I try to leave, these two guys grab me. I think they're cops, and I try to leave, and they they just stuck me with four of these vials. I really feel like I should be dead. Why am I not dead, Rick? You must be a meta then. A what? A meta human. It's what the government calls people with supernatural powers. I mean, think about it, Verge. When I hand you my phone. You shouldn't be able to fry it just by touching it. You must have got it when they injected you with all those vials. It unlocked some kind of power you already had, I guess, back in the car. Rick, you need to chill out, man. I'm not a metahuman or whatever that is. And me electrocuting my phone doesn't prove anything. I mean, it was probably like a static shock or something. <laughs> So cool, man. Dude, what are you talking about? Bro, bro, you have superpowers. This is amazing. Think about it. The cops that did this to you, you can make them pay. You can be Detroit's hero. But if you're going to be a hero, you need a name. I've got one in mind already. Time to make things right. That could be. Hmm. Thanks, Rick. Boys, I found something. Check this out, lucky rich as hell! Fuck this shit. <clears throat> Man, what y'all doing in here? Uh, Playing games? Really?
Rick. We're gonna need a new suit, man. Oh. Oh, bro, bro, you're not ready for this tone. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited. You ready, bro? Come on, Rich, let me see it already, man. I gotta see this. Virgil Hawkins. Jason, it's Rouge. So Jason, where'd you move from? Gotham City. Wow, hell of a city. So what makes you move to Detroit? Oh, um, yeah, my dad just got a job here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta calculus to do. Wait! Huh? Calculus 1? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm taking that class too. Hey, you should definitely come over. I literally live, like, right down there. You down? Oh, yeah, sure. Appreciate it. Hey, Jason, after homework, you trying to play some Street Fighter 3? Oh, yeah, that's my stuff. Heard. do you think you are anyways? I'm Static, and I'm here to protect the city. Starting with the drug-pushing cop, trying to sell it to the same people he's trying to protect. You're the kid from the deal that night, aren't you? I guess it's my fault for not making sure you were dead in the first place. What are you doing out here in the night anyways? Doing anything illegal? Say that. Well then, you're dead now.
Hey yo, Jason, what's up, man? Hello, and welcome back to another Livewire podcast. First, I'd like to apologize for being absent. I was in the hospital for six months. And it was kind of fun. <laughs> but that brings me to what I'm going to talk about today. Static. See, he's the reason I was in the hospital in the first place. His presence seems to have become well known around these parts. Because you guys think of him as some hero. But you've got it all wrong. See, I was in the hospital because of him. I witnessed him attack two officers, and then he attacked me. Now you're gonna argue or whatever about him doing a lot of good, but what does that matter when he's attacking people and hurting people that he's actually supposed to protect? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. He isn't a hero. He's a villain, and he has to be stopped. So I'm going to stop him. Oh, and Static? Meet me at Detroit's abandoned Century Warehouse. You know where it is. Chuck? Chuck, is that you? Wait, Virgil, my god. All this time you were infected by the venom? I thought you wouldn't be able to handle it. I thought you'd be dead. But as long as I live and breathe, Static Shock. Who would have thought Static Shock would be you? God, you were the one that set this up. You knew I was coming. I saw, but I didn't want to scare you. So I got help from a fellow man who knows justice. Who corrupts justice. Now Chuck, tell me, where is Livewire? Whoa, whoa, settle down. They're gonna have to get through me whether you like it or not. Whatever you say, Chuck. <laughs> nah, not Chuck anymore. Top Street. <laughs> Where the hell did you go? Over here. Now tell me, where is Livewire? The place where it all began. Who are you? I'm gonna expose you for the villain you really are. So you think you're some hero, but you're not. You hurt people, and you don't care about the consequences. See, you did this to me, and now you're gonna pay. Wait, stop. I know you. Did I do this to you? Please, stop! I took you to the hospital and they told me you'd be okay. They told me your name. It's Leslie Williams, right? 
live wire. Please, live wire. We can help you. No. You're wrong, Static. I don't need any help. I'm gonna help the city. I'm gonna save the city. you, the vigilantes, actually cared, but you don't, you're just like him. Like who? Red Hood! <coughs> <coughs> you see, I had a twin sister, Taylor, her and I were completely different people. See, well, I just wanted fame and fortune. She actually cared about people. And had feelings. Cared about what happened. Then one day our mom got sick. And she had to do anything to help us survive. So Taylor wanted to repay her. Taylor wanted to do anything to help us. And then she started working for Black Mask. You know what happened to her? So, where's Black Mask? I, I, I don't know. Wrong answer. 
Boom. She got killed by guess who? Red Hood. He doesn't even care about what he's doing. <coughs> he doesn't care about any of the consequences. He didn't think instead of putting her behind bars or turning her in, he just shot her without a second thought, <coughs> not caring about her family or anything else. People like him weren't here. None of this would have to happen. No one would feel this pain. So Static, I am gonna help this city. I'm gonna save this city. Leslie, no! Leslie, I promise I will protect this city. Attraction, yeah, call me static. I bring the havoc, uh, automatic. Got me booted up, now I'm suited up. Wait, wanna start something? Yeah, make it happen. I'm fighting crimes, systematic. Due to the time, it's dramatic. Shocking to see, see, see. It's a habit, wait, all the shine. I take it, mine, gotta have it. I sharpen the blade. We lighting the streets. I'm causing no static. Wait, I'm too legit. No one can stop me. Cops are watching. Beating my people down. Yeah, pops taught me. A magic attraction. Yeah, call me static. I bring the havoc. Uh, automatic. Got me booted up. Now I'm suited up. Wait, wanna start something? Yeah, make it happen. I'm fighting crimes. Systematic. Due to the time, it's dramatic. Shocking to see, 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 see. It's a habit. Wait, all the shine. I take it, mine. Gotta have it. I'm going pro. I'm too damn cool. I'm static, shocking all the haters back to school. Mess with us, you will fail. A hot flame, a hot streak with lightning trails. Yeah, electric attraction. Yeah, call me static. I bring the havoc, uh, automatic. Got me booted up, now I'm suited up. Wait, wanna start something? Yeah, make it happen. I'm fighting crimes, systematic. Due to the time, it's dramatic. Shocking to see.